catch this part. It's probably the oldest cuisine. You got fire, you got meat, you got barbecue. Is, yeah. it, is it notorious pig or notorious pig? Depends on how old you are. If you're over 50, then it's notorious pig. If you're under and you get it, then it's pig. I went back to St. Louis where I was born. Um, I worked with the best in the business uh, most of 2013. Came back here and started working on making this a reality and staying in the kitchen with some ribs. So it was, it was probably a four year process. We don't necessarily play by any strict regional rules. Um, we just kind of do what tastes good. That's what farming is all about. Our burn ends are, are Kansas City. Our ribs are definitely a Memphis style. Um, our brisket's unique to us. We pull our brisket at a temperature that everyone else has a crazy temperature to pull brisket at. And it's really, really good. You do the, these ribs, how long were they? These the ribs, process? depending on the attitude of the pig, usually uh, they're on the pit at 250, anywhere between two and a half to four hours. Okay, you try Go ahead, swing at me. We operate under the premise that people like candy, so some of our things are pretty sweet. The bird ends are a, a point of hot contention in this barbecue restaurant because we seem to make a lot of people grumpy every single day when they show up and they don't get burnt ends. So, burnt ends are a section of a brisket, so it's not a specific cut of meat that we can order. We can order ribs, we can order brisket, we can order sausage, we can order anything. Except for burn ends. Burn ends are something that effectively pop out of thin air if you know what you're doing with a brisket. So, for every brisket that we order, we decide that we're going to cook for the day. We get a small portion of burn ends. One. Oh, 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 oh. And oh my goodness. They're really, really good. You just have them. You probably test that. Um, words out can go really, really fast. So people always walk in, why don't you cook more? Why don't you cook more burn ends? You know, everyone wants them. Why don't you appease the people? The truth is, we can't because we don't have it. <laughs> so, barbecue restaurant, the way that we do it, we don't compromise, we don't, we only cook enough for the day. We run out, we run out. So, it's a, hospitality is what we do here. Food secondary to what we are. We're a restaurant, but one of the things, we're in the hospitality industry. How has the community's reaction been to you since you both, especially in this, this front street district? We are, I say this every day, and I wake up thinking this every single day, we're the most fortunate people in the entire world. People have completely embraced us. Your crew, it seems like you, you know, you've had these guys since you both. It's day one, both these guys are day one folks. We've got, people ask me what, what I'm most proud about every single time, like, my every single time. These guys here were some of my best friends. Every one of this restaurant, one of my best friends. It didn't start out that way. Right. People have showed up on the job here once. Have all turned into my best friends. Barbecue is ancient, and I don't think that. To me, I think the, the next frontier of barbecue is a hard to predict. The barbecue has been around forever. And someone asked me what the trick is to what we do yesterday. I was like, there isn't one. It's just a lot of hard work. It's just waking up every single morning super early and doing it the way that it's supposed to be done. And it sounds cliche, but that's barbecue. I think barbecue is, going back to its roots, a much more communal thing. We've got 36 seats in the front of the house and we've got four picnic tables. We fill them up real quick. We don't have TVs, we don't have dessert. We have an atmosphere that encourages other human beings to get to know each other. It's tight. And when we're rocking and rolling all through the summer, we'll have, on an eight person picnic table, we'll have eight single guys that have never met each other before. And by the end of it, they're eating barbecue, they're having some fun, they're smiling, they're shaking hands, getting to know each other. And that's, that's barbecue to me. Zero dreams of sushi, did you see that? Yeah, that is. So is that kind of the attitude too? It's like do something very well and don't, don't look to it is on a, monetize it? Yeah, if, if you're gonna compare us to that guy, we're like, that guy with about half as much skill, just as much passion, and we drink like a hundred times more bush than him. <laughs> Segways in there, so uh, beer and barbecue. Absolutely. Um, 
you know, you guys have a beer and wine. Yep. yep, lots of local stuff, lots of domestic stuff too. Um, Kettle House products, uh, gonna get grapplers in here as soon as they start their canning process. Great. Um, bunch of big sky. Well, you have a relatively sweet rib. Oh yeah. You know, even with, and it's not sauced. I mean, it's, it's, it's that's dry. The only thing that we put sauce on are those brands, and that's really, really light too. I like that that you're not over saucing things. Yeah. So. We focus on the meat, the spice, the smoke, and uh, that's our part of the job. Now you said you do a pork belly. Yep, for strong. Exactly right. Okay. Well, I, I I've done it for strong. Yeah, I've done bacon. And you did it. But you just got to do it at the same time. So we take a whole raw pork belly, yeah. and we've got our own uh, house pastrami brine. We'll brine it for two or three days, depending on how thick she is. Um, then smoke it for a handful of hours. It's, it's like the most over the top thing we do. It's just a wow. it's just a pork fat pastrami sandwich. It's really really good. It comes that, right, it well, be. I tell you what. Thanks for having me in. Yeah, and this is problem. delicious. I want to ask you a question. How do you get? How do you end up just driving around drinking beer? Dude. I'm a lucky dude. <laughs> we need smell-o-vision. That is awesome. <laughs>